Kia ora, I'm David Chaston with 98.9, brought to you by interest.co.nz. This is where we get everything you need to know in 90 seconds at 9 o'clock. With news, American economic data is generally more positive, while the Chinese economic data is generally less positive. First, American durable goods orders for May came in better than expected, with a 12% rise from year-ago levels. As good, orders for capital goods also rose 12% on the same basis, reflecting that boardrooms are still investing strongly. For both measures, the month-on-month gains also beat forecasts. Also positive, pending home sales broke a six-month skid, with a slight rise of 0.7% in May from April. Not positive, however, is the Dallas Fed factory survey for June, with a sharpish deceleration recorded. Of particular concern is the quick fall-off in new orders. Meanwhile, Russia has defaulted on its foreign debt. It can't pay largely as a result of sanctions inhibiting its ability to shift funds. And the struggles of Chinese industrial companies continued into May. In the month, profits were 6.5% lower than the same month a year ago, and it is little comfort that the decrease was less than for April. That takes their year-to-date gains back to just 1%. The whole situation is actually much grimmer. Manufacturing profits are almost 18% lower and utility companies 6% lower. The overall results are only restrained by profit surges in coal and other mining companies. And the Chinese central bank injected a total of 100 billion yuan into their banking system yesterday. They started pumping in more cash into the financial system on Friday. Demand usually surges towards the end of the quarter when banks shore up their positions but the size of this may suggest that more is at play this time. In Australia, they released their 2021 census data today, and it shows some important trends in their demographics. For example, the millennial demographic now equals the boomer population, now both at 21.5% of their total population, and soon it will outnumber it. It also shows that more than half of their population is either first or second generation immigrant. US Treasury 10-year yield starts today up six basis points from this time yesterday, now at 3.20%. And the price of gold is at $1,823 an ounce in New York and down $3 from this time yesterday. And oil prices are up $3 a barrel at just over $109 a barrel in the US, while the international bread price is now just over $111.50 a barrel. And the Kiwi dollar will open today at just over 63 US cents. Against the Australian dollar, we're unchanged at just under 91 Australian cents. But against the euro, we're nearly a half a cent lower at 59.5 euro cents. That all means our trade weight index starts today at just on 70.8 and down 30 basis points. Kia ora, I'm David Chaston. That was 98.9, brought to you by interest.co.nz.